Have you ever spent some of your time daydreaming about living in a mansion you own and have a lot of money in your bank account? Well, there are some people who have lived your daydream and continue to do so. Welcome to The Bestest, the channel that provides you the bestest news and videos you should know about. In today's episode, we'll discuss the most insane mansions of the world's richest CEOs. Before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get notifications of our videos. We all know that the bestest can serve you a platter filled with everything you have yet to find out. Some of the most prominent names continue to amaze us through their businesses, but they also continue to live according to how they want to. And like every ordinary person, they start at home. Now, who wouldn't want to see the insane homes of these talented and smart CEOs? Today, the bestest will show you these amazing mansions that these CEOs have worked hard to achieve. At number one, we have Elon Musk. We all know that SpaceX has managed to reach a milestone of 4 billion electric miles drive. Elon Musk's company is breaking boundaries, but that isn't all that's been making waves. You should know that all his five Bel Air homes are within walking distance of one another. The combined $70.3 million worth of homes includes Gene Wilder's former home, which Musk purchased for $6.75 million in 2013 to turn into a private school for his six children. He also has his beloved solar panels adorning the roofs of all his homes. If you were surprised by Elon Musk's mansions, well, wait till you find out the other ones on our list. The bestest has prepared more homes for you to peek at. At number two, we have Jeff Bezos. The Amazon CEO has a net worth of $72.8 billion and is now the richest billionaire in the world. All you care about is money. This town deserves a better class of criminal. He is also among the biggest landowners in Texas. Jeff Bezos has recently bought the largest house in DC and it actually consists of two mansions. He bought the former textile museum in Washington's swanky Calorama neighborhood for $23 million in cash. He's neighbors with the Obamas and the Kushners. Bezos and his wife and four children all live in Seattle. However, he also owns a property in Medina, Washington. He renovated this home to the tune of $28 million. His Beverly Hills home was one that he purchased for $24.5 million. But those are not the only things he owns. He still has three linked apartments in Century Towers on Central Park West for $7.7 million. At number three, we have Warren Buffett. In case you don't know, Warren Buffett is the CEO of Berkshire and is of course considered one of the richest people in the world. Warren is also known as the Oracle of Omaha. His Laguna Beach vacation home is currently priced at $11 million. At number four, we have Bill Gates. The former richest man in the world owns a simple-looking but an extravagantly architected mansion on the edge of Lake Washington. This property is known as Xanadu 2.0, which is a 66,000 square foot property with a sustainable design. Aside from this residence being designed by Bolin Schwinski Jackson and Cutler Anderson Architects, it was built over a span of seven years. It also boasts many features apart from its sustainable design, including a high-tech sensory system changing the ambience to suit the mood and timing, a pool with an underwater music system, a 2,500 square foot gym with a 20 feet high ceiling, 24 bathrooms, six kitchens, a library, and a full-fledged guest room. There are so many things that make this place amazing. Oh my god! Wow! At number 5, we have Mark Zuckerberg. The social media founder and CEO is currently creating his own mega compound in Palo Alto. 
For a grand total of $30 million, he purchased four additional mansions to surround his nearby estate of $7 million. This was the result of rumors that another developer was planning on buying the surrounding estates and marketing the property for being neighbors with Zuckerberg. He purchased his original estate back in 2011. Talk about paranoia, but it does help in avoiding too many people peering into his private life. Well, there is less privacy when you are among the most popular names in that industry. We are halfway through this episode, and did any of these houses amaze you? Yep, it's amazing to the wallet too. Stay with us until the end of this episode and let's move on to the next one. At number 6, we have Jack Dorsey. Twitter creator, co-founder, and chairman Jack Dorsey currently owns a seaside home worth $10 million. His residences come with a perfect view of the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. Jack's home boasts a 20-foot retractable glass roof as well as custom Brazilian wood cabinets. We can only imagine the view at night. It can also give you a very romantic dinner with a loved one. Well, it already has the perfect view. It's only a matter of setting the perfect ambience. At number 7, we have Yuri Milner. Yuri was an early investor in Facebook and Twitter. The Versailles Estate in Los Altos Hills was purchased by La Paloma Property LLC for $100 million in 2011, which is controlled by Russian-born Israeli billionaire Yuri Milner. This is a 25,545-square-foot property with 9 bedrooms and 14 bathrooms. It also comes with a ballroom, a maid's room, a library, two dining rooms, an indoor pool, a sauna, a spa, and two three-car garages with a car wash. But that's only just the main home. The property also has a 4,613-square-foot guesthouse with five bedrooms and three bathrooms. It was remodeled in 2011, and then a second guest house was built in 2012. This is basically a lot of property in one kind of deal. At number eight, we have Larry Ellison. The CEO of Oracle has multiple mansions spread across the globe. Larry Ellison is dubbed as the eighth richest man on the planet. He has 24 multi-million properties in Malibu alone. But his most amazing property is his 249-acre golf course in Rancho Mirage, valued at $70 million. It features an 18,400-square-foot main residence, a golf course, clubhouse, eight guest houses, pool, gym, spa, and even an amphitheater. Well, that's very impressive. At number 9, we have Sergey Brin. He is the co-founder of Google. And because he is one of the people behind Google, he has a great home. Obviously. Sergey Brin and Larry Page created Google from their Stanford dorm room, and that grew to become one of the most valuable companies in the world. From that dorm room, he now owns a sprawling $49 million estate. This was a 30,000 square foot situated in Alpine, New Jersey. Probably, this is among the places where the magic happens. All of these homes are fruits of their great effort and success. Trying hard, doing their best, and making an effort is just a few steps they did to achieve this kind of home we could only dream about. And now that we're almost at the end of this episode, there's just one more insane home that you should check out. So the last one on this episode is more than just impressive. At number 10, we have Lakshmi Mittal. This successful person's home is priced at $222 million. This area is also subjected to the highest security and details around the home. It just goes to show how exclusive the street is. The homes are kept under tight lock and key. His neighbors also include the Israeli embassy and Roman Abramovich. And that's it for today. (laughs) 
Let us know which ones of these homes did you like the most. Let us know in the comment section below. Make sure to like and subscribe to The Bestest and hit the bell to access more of our videos. Thank you so much for watching and until our next Bestest video.